uh, coming on board here in the next two weeks. So that feed goes you know, out to them. And the problem is Windows 10 is not compatible with a lot of this. With anything. Yeah. With, with, with anything. Edge, browser, none of that. Let me ask you this. What servers are you running? What's your OS over there on your servers? Uh, I, you're talking stuff I don't even know. I have an engineer and plus Okay, my, I'm, I'm beyond. Okay, we're, 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 we're blowing beyond stuff. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I and thought plus, you were uh, talking like you had it all set up yourself, like you were out getting well, in there and everything. No, no. I actually set three-fourths of it up. Plus, I cheat. My wife works for Dell Computers as one of the lead technicians oh, okay. for Dell. So, yeah. So, I mean, nice, nice. that makes it so much nicer when I can't figure it out. Yeah. You know, uh, you know the uh, servers we just installed and got those functioning because I got tired of paying extortion uh, of $300 a month for server rental. You know, and Yeah, it's a little ridiculous out there for cloud computing. Well, not just that. No, you don't own the feed. I mean, you know, you're running it for their server. You don't own the feed. They own the feed. Right, exactly. So I figured, no, no, that's not going to be, you know. I, I, you're going to pay the money you own it, right? Pardon me? I said, if you're going to pay the money, you might as well own it. Yeah, that well, yeah, and it's not that. You can go out and buy some used servers, you know, for not a huge amount of money. And, you know, yeah. the main thing is then, of course, the cable company, they like, you know, they want their money. So, I mean, it gets a little expensive, but, <laughs> you know, but at least I don't have the hassle. Of, you know, if it goes down, I got a backup one. So, I mean, you know, yeah. I'm uncovered. I don't have to sit there and send emails and wait 24 hours to get back up online. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to pay that tier one support to get that stuff. No, even when you pay the tier one, which with this one company I was doing, it was still, you know, depending on it, what time it went down. If it went down at four o'clock, you won't hear from them until the next morning. <laughs> they ain't got time for that. Yeah, they'll, they'll get you when they wake up. Well, you know, one of my friends decided he wanted to go, and I'm not going to mention the name of the organization out there, but he wanted to uh, create a radio station and play music, okay, which he thought it was a good deal because he didn't have to pay any royalty fees or nothing. But then after he signed up, he realized he's paying a fee each month, right, to play music on their, their servers and, you know, uh, to be a station on their, their system, right? He can't advertise mm-hmm. at all. They, they, um, wow. the, the the company does, but he can't. And then I said, "Well, what do you?" So, so you're not making any money. Yeah, I said, "Well, gee, that's an expensive hobby if you don't make money." <laughs> and that's not just one company is doing it. I mean, you know, there's like uh, a, a several of them, like Live uh, 360, <clears throat> which I wasn't going to say. Uh, you know, that that's, if you, if you can't, if you, if it was, you know, I guess if you just want to play music and let people listen to it, that's cool. But I mean, not to be able to advertise, that's not cool. Yeah. That, that, that kind of throws it all out there. That throws, but I mean, then again, too, you're, you're, they're almost competing within themselves. Just having like you on there, you know, advertise on there, on their station, you know, advertising. You know, so you could have competitors' advertisements. You could have things that you're not aligned with, and they might not have create create a control over. So I understand the business model, you know, side of it. But, but yeah, definitely. So uh, we were talking about you did some conspiracy shows, like on JF, uh, you know, the Kennedy assassination. Uh, what other type of uh, shows do you guys do? I'm trying to get the feel of your show. And tell the audience out there, you know, I mean, uh, how can they listen to your show? Where do they find your show and all that stuff? What time is uh, do you put the live uh, or the new uh, podcast up? Well, I think I think what what Bobby and I kind of had sat down and decided was is is doing, you know, doing a conspiracy type show that, you know, right now it's a lot of him and I. It's it's kind of an opinion, you know, based show. Um. But but we wanted it to be fun because conspiracy should be. It's it's a fun topic where you're questioning, you know, uncomfortable topics. Um, you know, we go live on Spreaker. Um, 51 Areas Paranormal Radio is kind of what our network is called. Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern is when we go on. Um, a- occasionally, we add some shows during the week. We have a, you know, Facebook page, uh, The Conspiracy Order. Um, where we we do Facebook Live, um, we post all of our events, 
Um, and, and, you know, it was something that Bobby and I, you know, I, I mean, Bobby, how, how really, how do you think it came together? I mean, we hadn't talked to each other in years. Yeah. And, it's, uh, uh, you, know, you know, this is kind of a thing where we both were, uh, we, we've been friends since, uh, way back when, since we were real little, um, elementary school and, um, over the time, you know, just kind of fell out once we got into high school and then we reached back out together after a few years and, we both just kind of found out that we had an interest in stuff like this. You know, I had kind of, I fell out of it pretty hard just because I kind of got sick of a lot of the BS around it. But, um, and then, you know, coming to find out you were heavily involved with it and uh, even more so than anybody I've ever known for certain, uh, for certain, certain aspects. And, you know, you, you were doing your podcast previous and, you know, you came up with the idea to want to do it. And I was looking a way to kind of get out. I just had my son. I needed a breath of fresh air and, me and my wife needed to do something new and just kind of have some fun with each other. And this is a good idea for us to get out and meet up with old friends and make some new friends and, you know, talk some shit and have a good time, you know, that's about <laughs> it. And, you know, and I think the thing is, 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 you know, right now, especially in the area we were at in Michigan, there's lots of paranormal shows, a lot, lot of paranormal okay. radio. And I wanted to just try to, I guess, I guess be different. Um, the conspiracy stuff is, is things that there's a lot of them na- nationally, um, but a lot of my paranormal friends are all very heavily paranormal related, and I, I just I didn't want to just get into that realm, I guess, and get stuck doing just the paranormal. Um, and then, like I said, when me and, him, me and him started talking, we realized like, wow, we really have an interest in. I guess the lack of government trust that we have and we decided, okay, let's do some shows here and see how it works. And we've gotten to the point now where I think we're, we're looking for guests. Um, it, it was more of, you know, for the first, however many months we've been on, um, kind of just going back and forth with our beliefs. And now we're starting to get comfortable enough to actually start. We want guests coming on and, and giving input and, and, you know, it, it's just everything that, you know, you you have to question, you know, it, it's just all conspiracies. It, it's whatever. Yeah, there's whatever a question, too, and if, there, if there's something it. suspect or if there's ever yeah. something crazy going on, you know. And I think, you know, to add on what Rich was saying with, you know, we started out the show early on. We didn't have too much of a format. We were just kind of going back and forth with what we thought we wanted to talk about, um, yeah. you know, and then – as it's been going on, we developed a format and, you know, we added the wise to the, to the show and, and they put their input into it. And, uh, it's a real fun time with that. Like we had a great religion episode that uh, my wife was able to touch on and, uh, Shannon was able to touch on as well and talk about some good input and insight about how they were raised and how things came up with that. And, you know, that's why we invite people in the chat rooms and to call in to get involved and talk to us about their experiences and let us know. And, you know, we really want to get everybody out there involved. We really want to get new listeners and because it's not just one specific subject that we talk about either. You know, it's the JFK assassination. It's Antarctica. It's the ridiculous theory of flat earth. It's, uh, you know, it, just everything that we do, UFOs, ghosts, you know, you name it, we're talking about it um, because there's probably some sketchiness behind it at some point in time, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had a good 9-11 episode, you know, and we just scratched the surface on it. So there's, there's all kinds of stuff going out there. And uh, we just like to talk about it and raise questions. And, and and a lot of it, sometimes we go off based on what's happening in the news right now. We may, you know, like um, the royal wedding, all of a sudden we decided, well, we're going to hit on the royal wedding, the family, Princess Diana. Yeah. So a lot of times, too, the kind of what's going on in the news kind of, you know. Turn events, different people hearing and, about and, what, what, what's, what's yeah. being fear-mongered on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, like, I, I, you know, even myself, I got educated a lot. I mean, I've had, like, ex-FBI agents on the show, CIA agent, a DOD agent on the show, and a lot of things they told me, and it's strange, even some of the, the same ones, like the ex-FBI and the DOD, was telling me, like, the same things, you know, like, you go out and buy a new smart TV, you got to really watch what you say, yeah. you know? I always thought, oh, that's a bunch of, you know what? But uh, <laughs> it, they were telling me... A little, and if you know, I might put my two cents in. They were telling me that he was looking for a bicycle, 
and it was an oddball type of bike. You know, it was a certain brand, uh, you know, handmade beach cruiser. One you're not going to find anywhere. You know, you don't even find it advertised. And they were talking about it, you know, in their living room. And the next morning, you know, all of a sudden he's looking at his phone. Okay. And guess what was popping up? There it is, that bike, that, that beach cruiser. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and who had it on sale and what prices? And he said that wasn't the only time that's happened. He said that has happened several times. You know, like, uh, you know, it's just, it's kind of scary. I mean, you know. Yeah, I've caught it a bunch of times, definitely. It's, you, it's, you, you do it some deja vu or, you know, you've seen the meme out there where stuff like that happens. And, and you know, it definitely is. And what people don't realize, too, if you want to bring, well, we'll throw some conspiracy on it since that's the flavor of the topic tonight. You know, back when the Patriot Act passed uh, back in, uh, what, 2003, 2004, you know, uh, what people don't understand is the government was making deals with these tech companies, putting these devices, these back doors, and, and all this access into these devices that they're selling to all these people worldwide. And, uh, you know, it's just, like you said, you see it firsthand with one year, you're talking about these bikes, and then boom, there it is, you know? Oh, yeah. He was even uh, saying, like, he, he go into big, and he also said Google is tied in. One of them said that tied in, mm-hmm. you know, with the government, you know, supplying, you know, all this information about me and you and your friend Richard there. And it, that is scary. But, you know, he said he, it was another case. He went into Walmart, for example, right? And they were talking in the car about something they wanted to buy. Well, they had the cell phone, you know, in the car with him, but, you know, he wasn't talking to anybody. It wasn't dialed to anybody. Walks into Walmart, and guess what? He even pulled up on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 exactly what he was looking for. Yeah, exactly. All, yeah, he, he found that kind of strange. But then also he was talking about, you know, that, uh, like, certain words you, you either type on when you're sending an email out, uh, or you talk on the phone, or even radio host. If there's certain words you use, yeah. you're being recorded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're trigger words, and you know that's that's what Snowden was talking about. You know, uh, a couple years ago when he broke the program that the NSA was using to build profiles on uh, on everyday people. You know, this was obviously a child of the Patriot Act, and um, this were these were things that you know people didn't think much about back then. Because no one had a smartphone, no one had an iPhone, no one knew what an Android phone was. No one knew, you know, yeah, oh yeah, I'd go online, you know, to get my, my Amazon and my eBay. It, it was infinite to what it's being used for today. Oh, yeah. And people gave up those liberties because they didn't understand them. Now that people all of a sudden, you know, have these devices, they're security conscience and think they're geniuses. And everybody wants to be, you know, oh, yeah, oh, no, you're spying on me and this and that. Well, you, this is what you passed and this is what you allowed. So, well, you know, it, it's thing. scary, you know. It's only yeah, going to well, get worse, too. That's what I was going to say. And the, the scariest thing that I find about the whole thing is that us civilians every single day, we just go about our business and we turn the other eye to that. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you don't, if you're not really paying attention, you're not realizing that, well, I was on Amazon searching for something. I just popped on Facebook and now I have 20 ads for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, that, that is. You know, all that. Yeah, and all that's going on, and, and we just kind of just, okay, it's it's fine, you know, and, and that's what I find scary is that we've gotten to that point where all this stuff going on behind the scenes, and it's just accepted. It's, it's hey, if I as long as I can get on Facebook, I'm happy. Yeah. Well, the bad and, you know, the thing is me and my wife are... No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say... I was going to say, me, uh, just to touch on it, me and my wife were talking the other day about, you know, how... You know, how, how do they, you know, listen in? How do they, you know, figure out? How do they triangulate? And I was like, well, you know, just like Snowden was saying, they build, you know, these profiles. And like yeah. you said, certain keywords, these trigger words that they hit, you know, bomb, president, Trump, all in one sentence. Now we're hit. Now we're on a list. So now it's going to look at who we're talking to right now, all three of us. Then it's going to look at what are our motives? What have we done lately? Where are we shopping at? What are we looking at? Who are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? And it builds these profiles, and as it continues and continues down these pyramids of profiles, and if we keep hitting the certain triggers, then they're going to send someone on your door. You know what I mean? Then they're going to start looking at you. Then there's going to be someone in the street looking at you. And oh, yeah. that's how it all works, you know? Well, not, I'm sorry to trigger us. I, I mean, I need to throw it out there. And what's also mm-hmm. bad, like what he was, the you know, the one from DOD was telling me about, okay, now, like, 
you know, he reminded me, you know, each time I have him on my show, you know, he says, hey, you know, you're, you're being watched now because.